111th Congress, First Section, House Resolution 3200, to provide affordable quality health care for all Americans and reduce the growth in health care spending and for other purposes. In the House of Representatives, July 14, 2009, Sections 121 and 122 by the United States House of Representatives. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. House Resolution 3200 Mr. Dingle, for himself, Mr. Randall, Mr. Waxman, Mr. George Miller, of California, Mr. Stark, Mr. Pallone, and Mr. Andrews introduced the following bill, which was referred to the Committee on Energy and Commerce, and in addition to the Committees on Ways and Means, Education and Labor, Oversight and Government Reform, and the Budget, for a period to be subsequently determined by the Speaker, in each case for consideration of such provisions as fall within the jurisdiction of the committee concerned. A bill to provide affordable quality health care for all Americans and reduce the growth in health care spending and for other purposes. Be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled. Section 121 coverage of essential benefits package a in general a qualified health benefits plan shall provide coverage that at least meets the benefit standards adopted under section one twenty four for the essential benefits package described in section one twenty two for the plan year involved b choice of coverage one non-exchange participating health benefits plans in the case of a qualified health benefits plan that is not an exchange participating health benefits plan such plan may offer such coverage in addition to the essential benefits package as the qhbp offering entity may specify two exchange participating health benefits plans in the case of an exchange participating health benefits plan, such plan is required under Section 203 to provide specified levels of benefits and, in the case of a plan offering a premium plus level of benefits, provide additional benefits. 3. Continuation of offering of separate accepted benefits coverage. Nothing in this division shall be construed as affecting the offering of health benefits in the form of accepted benefits described in section 102b sub 1b 2 if such benefits are offered under a separate policy, contract, or certificate of insurance. C. No restrictions on coverage unrelated to clinical appropriateness a qualified health benefits plan may not impose any restriction other than cost sharing unrelated to clinical appropriateness on the coverage of the health care items and services section one twenty two essential benefits package defined a in general in this division the term essential benefits package means health benefits coverage consistent with standards adopted under section 124 to ensure the provision of quality health care and financial security that one provides payment for the items and services described in subsection b in accordance with generally accepted standards of medical or other appropriate clinical or professional practice two limits cost sharing for such covered health care items and services in accordance with such benefit standards consistent with subsection c three does not impose any annual or lifetime limit on the coverage of covered health care items and services four complies with section one hundred and fifteen a 
relating to network adequacy and Medicare and Medicaid services to the average prevailing employer-sponsored coverage. B. Minimum services to be covered. The items and services described in this subsection are the following. 1. Hospitalization. 2. Outpatient hospital and outpatient clinical services, including emergency department services. 3. Professional services of physicians and other health professionals. 4. Such services, equipment, and supplies incident to the services of a physician's or a health professional's delivery of care in institutional settings, physician offices, patients' homes, or place of residence, or other settings as appropriate. 5. Prescription drugs. 6. Rehabilitative and habilitative services. 7. Mental health and substance use disorder services. 8. Preventive services, including those services recommended with a grade of A or B by the Task Force on Clinical Preventative Services, and those vaccines recommended for use by the Director of the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. 9. Maternity Care 10. Well Baby and Well Child Care and Oral Health, Vision and Hearing Services, Equipment and Supplies, at least for children under 21 years of age. C. Requirements relating to cost sharing and minimum actuarial value. 1. No cost sharing for preventive services. There shall be no cost sharing under the essential benefits package for preventive items and services, as specified under the benefit standards, including well baby and well child care. 2. Annual limitation. A annual limitation the cost sharing incurred under the essential benefits package with respect to an individual or family for a year does not exceed the applicable level specified in subparagraph b b applicable level the applicable level specified in this subparagraph for year one is five thousand dollars for an individual and ten thousand dollars for a family such levels shall be increased, rounded to the nearest $100, for each subsequent year for the annual percentage increase in the Consumer Price Index, United States City Average, applicable for such year. C. Use of Copayments In establishing cost-sharing levels for basic, enhanced, and premium plans under this subsection, the secretary shall, to the maximum extent possible, use only co-payments and not co-insurance. 3. Minimum Actuarial Value A. In general, the cost-sharing under essential benefits package shall be designed to provide a level of coverage that is designed to provide benefits that are actuarially equivalent to approximately 70% of the full actuarial value of the benefits provided under the reference benefits package described in subparagraph B. B. Reference Benefits Package Described The reference benefits package described in this subparagraph is the essential benefits package if there were no cost sharing imposed. End of House Resolution 3200, to provide affordable quality health care for all Americans and reduce the growth in health care spending and for other purposes. Read by Craig Campbell in Appleton, Wisconsin in 2009.